In this class, we are going to learn about one more concept available in Visual Builder applications that is validators for input text component. Now this validator property available for input text component is used in order to restrict the user from entering any random values in the input text field. Suppose as a user, I am using this application to enter some form and I am entering some random values over here like something something and I am just clicking on this submit and it will corrupt the backend system. Now as a developer, I want the user to restrict the number of characters which the user can enter with the help of this input text field. Suppose I want to restrict the user from entering the value less than 3 characters and more than 7 characters. Suppose if the user enters only 2 then I want to restrict the form to be submitted to the backend applications. I will accept the application only if it is more than 3 characters and it is less than 7 characters. If it is more than 7 characters or less than 3 characters, I want the form to be restricted and I want to notify the user saying that the entered value is inappropriate. Now before going into hands on and learn how we can achieve with the help of this visual builder application, we will see what Oracle says in their documentation. I am here in the official documentation page by Oracle on using Oracle Visual Builder. From the table of content, we need to go through this common use cases which is part of this part to develop. Under forms, there is a validate the text of an entity in an input text field. Now here Oracle has documented how we can achieve the exactly similar case what I have talked about shortly in this class. That is the Oracle has made use of this validators property for the input text field over here. And they have made use of the regular expression in order to restrict the number of characters that is to be between 3 and 7. Now I am going to copy exactly similar thing over here. Let me copy whatever is there within the validators. Switch over to our visual builder application. Switch over to design. Select this. Now if you click on this all and search for the validator over here, you will see this property that is validators. Go to the expression builder paste whatever you have copied just remove this single quotes and click on save now here you can customize the message what you want to display over here whatever you write it will be displayed over here in the error message now i will switch over to the live and i will enter only two characters that is t o 2 and just about it says that need three characters i will enter one more o over here and just about now i am not seeing that error message if I click on this submit, it is submitting. If I select only two characters or enter two characters and click on submit, it won't submit because we have put the validation which we had seen in our earlier class to this form which will restrict the form to be submitted to the back end if there are any validation errors. So if you have not watched that class, please check out the class before proceeding with this class. Now such kind of error message the user will be getting if they doesn't satisfy the validation condition whatever it is put over here. Now we will enter 6 characters 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Just about I am not seeing the error message I will enter one more character it is 7 and I will enter one more character now it is 8 character. Now I will again get a error message saying need 3 to 7 characters. So like this with the help of validators properties which is available for input text component in visual builder we can restrict the user from entering any random value which they have in their mind and we can avoid backend system getting corrupted with the junk data. In our coming classes we will learn one by one such kind of properties available for components in visual builder application.